Well, it's semi-finals day here of the 2012 Australian Indoor Championships played here at Tweed Heads. We have our first finalist in the women's draw. It is defending champion Karen Murphy, who's actually striving for her fifth title here at Tweeds. We caught up with her after her semi-final win. Karen, through to your sixth Australian indoor final here at Tweed Heads. You're making the indoor rink your own at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I love playing up here. You know, it's, uh, it's such a great atmosphere on the rink and, uh, you know, the crowds are always really fair in, in their support for, for both players. So uh, I feel at home and, you know, it's somewhere real, uh, where I really enjoy playing. It's, it's great fun. Let's talk about the semi uh, today and uh, you got off to a flying start, a full count on the first end and then led by as many as, uh, as eight shots midway through that first set. Yeah, that's right. I got off to a fly. I got a four. Uh, you know, Beck may have had some nerves to start with sort of thing or just didn't quite find it um, as early as I did. But uh, I always knew she was going to come back. You know, she's a quality player, a class player. And, uh, you know, I, I just had to try and uh, keep plugging in there and uh, try and get my draw going and, and uh, you know, just plug away. So, uh, you know, the first set, uh, you know, I hung in there, which was good. You know that she'll always come back. She's a fighter, isn't she? Yeah, definitely. You know, she's she's a very good converter. You know, like she, you know, if uh, she's down, she'll always give it a chance, sort of thing. And you know, I know that have to play smart against a player like Beck because uh, you know, not not to pack the head to give her a target to hit, sort of thing. You know, just play smart, throw a few around the back, and you know, get it to a spot where it's hard for her to get to. But uh, you know, a, a great effort for Beck to to make a, her semi. You know, in, in the indoors, uh, I think she said she'd only hadn't got past the second round before, so she's in a bit of form, and I'm glad she's one of my World Bowls teammates. <laughs> Uh, the second set didn't probably go to plan for you. Um, I think uh, going into the first end of the tie break, you'd only won three of, of about nine ends going into that and lost the first end there. What was your mindset as the tie break sort of unfolded into that second and third end? Yeah, look, the you know you, the second set so such a mindset it really is. You know, like I knew she'd come back in the second set. She's got nothing to lose, um, and you know when a player is in that position, they can relax and, and probably play a little bit better. So she converted you know some really good shots in the in the second set. Um, I felt I had a couple of little unlucky results too, going through a couple of holes and things like that. I dropped a three there, I think, and went through the, to the jack in the ditch, but sort of thing. But uh, you know, I always knew I had the tie break in, uh, you know, in my back pocket, sort of thing, as a backup. And uh, mate, as we know, anything can happen in the tie break. Okay, so looking to the final now, which uh, which we play uh, tomorrow, being uh, being Thursday. Um, what do you do between now and then in terms of preparation? Obviously, you know your potential two opponents quite well. Yeah, I do. I uh, played Lisa in the final before and, um, you know, I have, uh, haven't really played Claire too much, maybe once on the carpet, I think. So I'm not really worried about, you know, who, who I've got to play. Um, you know, they're both good players, both really good. Um, you know, I, I'm more worried about, you know, what, what I can control. I certainly feel like I've got more petrol in the tank. I certainly feel like I can play a bit better than I did there today. Um, but again, you know, you, you can only play as well as your opponent lets you sort of thing. So, uh, you know, I can't wait for tomorrow. What an opportunity to try and win my, you know, my fifth indoor title. I'd, I'd love that. So, uh, I'll go out and uh, try and do my best. Sounds like you've got some room in the mantelpiece for one more. <laughs> yeah, lots more, hopefully. That'd be good. But uh, yeah, just love it. I'll just you know, go out there and enjoy it, I think, and uh, you know, hopefully the bowls will follow. So from one defending champion to another, and Jeremy Henry was up against Paul Girdler in the first men's semi-final of the 2012 Australian Indoors. It didn't go so much to plan for Henry this afternoon. As he went down to Paul Girdler, we spoke to Girdler after his epic win. Paul, through to your first Australian Indoor Championship final here on your home turf, it must be a very, very relieving feeling. Oh, it's an absolutely great feeling. Like it's, uh, you know, this tournament's been here for a number of years and it's, uh, it's run very well and it's probably lucky just to have a good sort of crowd support, you know, especially playing at this club. And uh, no, it's, uh, I'm pretty wrapped actually, to be honest with you. You've come up against in your semi today against the defending champion Jeremy Henry. Uh, you, knew, you knew you were going to be in for a, a tight game, that's how it panned out. It was too, and, and Jeremy got off to the blocks, uh, started off fantastically, and I just, probably a bit nervous in a sense, but uh, you know, once I sort of settled down and got onto my line, um, you know, I started actually playing some pretty consistent bowls, and at the end of the day, we, I managed to get it back to a tiebreaker, so I was, uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Take us through that first set where Jeremy did sort of have the ascendancy for the best part of it, um, and then you sort of picked up your game in the second set, but the first set, you just, uh, just a bit off? Probably just a bit off. Just, I've never played on this rink before, and you know Jer Jeremy's got sort of uh, Taylor Aces, which is quite a, um, a wide drawing bowl. So me sort of settling and just trying to find the line with my Green Master Premiers was just sort of that's what I needed to do. And uh, yeah, and then uh, I knew sooner or later I'd start getting my weight right, and uh, yeah, it happened. A lead of uh, eight four to you in that uh, midway through that second set. You certainly found your uh, found your groove okay, and then took it to the tiebreak. Yeah, the tie break was quite interesting, really. 
it's uh, you know it's some absolutely fantastic bowls played by you know myself and Jeremy and it was uh, and that's how you want it. It was uh, close and just goes down to the last bowl at the end of the day. So getting a sort of uh, finishing two all after three ends and then yeah I was just managed to sort of um, get the get the uh, the end on the fourth end. Have you ever played a, bowl, a round of bowls where it's come down to that sort of that last end, that 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 sudden death end in this case, and uh, just two shots to uh, to take the prize? Uh, now and then I have, yes. I'm, I mean, over my bowling career, I've you know probably played 31 years now. So, but drawing right to the ditch is it's not an easy um, task, and just managed to pick the weight, and yeah, luck was on my side. <laughs> That's Karen Murphy, folks, going through the final rehearsals ahead of tomorrow's big final here at the Australian Indoor Championships. We now know who she's playing. It is Claire Duke, who won through the semi-finals this afternoon against Lisa Phillips. We already know Paul Girdler is through to the men's final. Who will he play, either Mark Casey or Brett Wilkie? That's the semi-final tomorrow morning. As we said, Claire Duke has won her way through. We talked to her after her semi-final. Claire, exciting times through to your second Australian indoor final, having won it already once in 2004. How do you feel? Uh, I feel great. I actually come to this tournament with no expectations. It's always tough here. I thought the field this year was better than it has ever been. So to make the final again is awesome. Tell us your thoughts about your progression through to the final, your draw and how you think you played. Uh, I started off pretty rough and pretty scratchy, but I feel like I'm getting better and better with each game. Um, this TV rink's always tricky because it is on the half rink, so um, yeah. But hopefully from today's game we'll be able to take it into tomorrow's with a bit of experience. Let's talk about the semi. You are uh, you play Lisa Phillips. You know that you're going to have a fight in your hands with her, don't you? <laughs> yeah, she's always a tough competitor and she always finds a way to win. Like I felt I was in control of that first set, but she still was in with a chance all the way through. Any concerns throughout the uh, the two sets and obviously another tie break to, uh, to decide in the end? Oh, look, it was always going to be close and you always want to play better, but um, Obviously can't be on the jack with every bowl, but I think your first bowl's the key, so if I can get my first one close tomorrow, I'll be happy. Just to have a certain strategy going in, and especially going to the tie break, what did you want to try and do? Uh, I really wanted to win that first end, and as luck happened, I did, so that makes it a lot easier, because then if you lose the second one, you've got the last bowl to make up for it. And your opponent tomorrow, Karen, what's, uh, what's your uh, thoughts going to be overnight and going into tomorrow's final? She's a, she's a feisty competitor. Yeah, she certainly is, and she's the queen of the carpet, so I'm certainly going to be the underdog, and we're clubmates and teammates, and we're good friends, so hopefully it's just an enjoyable game, and we'll see what happens.